with partners and sponsors, Core, at home. Qantas, official airline partner. Chef Works, Kremelat, SA Chefs Association, official association partner. Taurus, and Zeta. The foundation of my cooking, then, now, and in the future, has is, is always been the ingredients. You know, I'm, I'm very passionate about, about produce, uh, sourcing new produce and, and using the best. Something about growing it, nurturing it, and then cooking with it or feeling it or, or cutting it up, it just, I don't know, it feels right. It, you know, it feels like passion. When I'm cooking at home, I just want to be by myself and just create. I don't, I don't want to be a Gordon Ramsay or a Thomas Keller or, or a Heston Blumenthal. I want to be all three of them. I want to be Matt Moran. Fresh that is, yeah? It's got beautiful bloodline. It doesn't smell fishy. It is insanely fresh and, and great to eat. So fresh, in fact, you can actually eat it raw. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get a hot pan on. We're going to put a little bit... Um, I didn't see a line yesterday. You know what? I was actually really happy. And the reason being, it means that I've got to come back again. Yeah? Yeah. You ready? One, two, three. I've got some uh, salt. So I basically just crushed the wakami seaweed. Can you get a good shot of that, Chef? Can you see that? Oh, you can. See, it's got little granules through it. I actually wanted it not to be too fine. So that's the wakami, the seaweed, which has been crushed, just in a mortar and pestle. A little bit of wasabi powder to give it that heat, and then lots of salt. Um, I'll tell you what works really well with this is nashi pear. Do you guys get nashi pears here? No Japanese pear? They're full of water? No? Right. Has anyone had a nashi pear before? Yeah, beautiful, huh? Um, this is just a, a corella pear. I'm just going to cut some... Uh, some wedges. I'm just going to put that also. It's got a little bit of a Japanese hint to it, this, this uh, dish, with the wasabi, the nashi pear. Um, I've got some radishes. I'm just going to cut some little rings of radishes. Um, you can always use a, um, a beautiful... Uh, mandolin if you like and not a knife because occasionally people do cut themselves right now the beautiful fish very carefully I'm just going to cut some nice little pieces you can see it's nice around the outside but still nice and raw on the inside I'm just going to lay that everywhere, all around the plate. One more piece. Now this is something that I would serve at home on a big platter. Do heaps of it and just serve it and let everyone sort of dig in. It's got the chops underneath it, so... It's just gelatinous and ooey and gooey and I just love it. In fact, I've got some chickpeas left over. I'm just going to throw them into, into the salad. Look at that. I'm just going to have a look at that. I'm making sure.